I've cooked before in here, but never under such harsh 93 degree conditions. I don't eat this shit today, it will go bad. So today we're cooking my world famous keto goulash that has no no, no uh, pasta or anything in it. And we'll be doing so right here. Inside of this little trail that runs along fucking all of this shit. I don't know. <laughs> so of course we got my induction cooktop. Hook it to the jackery. We are at 100% power. And I'm hoping I don't use a shit ton because I want to get on my computer and edit shit later. Otherwise I'll be waiting. So we now have power there. level this up a bit. That's one of the problems with sleeping in a car is shit isn't always level. I totally forgot. Totally forgot my cheese. Well, there goes that. I will say this cover, I don't know if you noticed, but it's a rubber mat. Helps insulate the cooler a little bit more. I did plug this directly into the jackery because I don't want to set myself on fire. It does use quite a bit of power. Now I'm going to get a nice bit of road dust in my fucking shit. So there's that. And of course there's a fucking fly coming in already. And he'll probably be in here tonight buzzing me while I'm trying to fucking sleep. See the fun part is going to be cleaning this shit up at. So this is basically the principle of it is to stand outside cook it right here and then I'll sit in the back seat in because it's in office mode right now and I'll fucking eat it you may recognize this backdrop if you've ever watched the movie Nomadland it was filmed right on this very spot as far part of it was filmed here and of course at wall drug which we know is an unmitigated consumerist disaster but Part of their economy, they get, you know, if you want to support their economy, that's one of the ways to do it. Like I said, I prefer experiences over gift shops. Starting to get cooked. Slowly but surely. These will be last. Going to take a chance and leave my trash bag outside for the night until I leave here tomorrow.
Got to be very careful not to spill this because that would suck. And that brings me back to the problem of not being on level ground. say it's good enough for now. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and unplug it so that I can move it because I'm eating it directly off of this thing but I need to move it out of the way so I can do some pre-cleaning. So we're going to do it without it sliding all over the fucking place. I gotta put my cheese away before that melts. Dinner is served. Look at that. So I use this as a tray table because obviously the pan's hot. And I just fucking eat it. Look at that gooey niceness with protein and keto and shit. I'm not going to make you watch me eat. This isn't a mukbang video. I don't do that shit. If I can grab the camera without spilling this hot shit all over my fucking lap. So the not fun part is coming up here of cleaning that up with just what I have with me. Um, I have extra water to do that. So I'm going to wipe it with paper towels as best I can to get as much of the solids and all of that into the trash bag and then I might rinse it depends on if there's anything left on it um, if there's nothing left on it I'm just gonna put it back and uh, use it again because you know obviously if anything grows on it uh, when you heat it up next time to cook something it's gonna kill off whatever might have been growing on it I know that sounds gross but for the most part, I've did, done that it that way for a while. The only time I really scrub it is once a week, or I, you know, because it's a non-stick thing too, or if there's anything stuck to the non-stick, then I'll scrub it down, because I don't want, like, cheese growing on it or some shit. Uh, but if it's clean, you know, I can run my hand over it and don't feel anything clinging to it, then uh, I call it a day. So let's uh, wipe that shit out. And it should be noted that you've got to be careful when you're eating in the car. Um, car camping can get really nasty really quick. Like this morning I had coffee grounds bust through my little uh, solution for emptying and cleaning that out and I had coffee grounds all over my fucking dashboard earlier. So, you know, I, I got to be careful not to be a fucking slob or else I'll have to detail the interior of the car which would suck especially while living in it you know but to be fair I've got Delta Sonic membership when I get back I'll be running it through multiple times to get it as clean as possible after this trip unless I find a Delta Sonic along the way I might at least run the exterior over because this car is going to be fucking dirty by the end of this journey. I'm almost 2,000 miles in, uh, which is, well, I'm putting a lot of miles on this car. I think I'm probably going to be putting four to 5,000 miles on my car. Uh, but the memories that come with that, worth it. So there's that. All right, now I don't want to remember this shit cleaning fucking sauce up. Should have just made a steak, but that would have been messy too with all the butter. But I do have a ribeye. And I have to eat it by tomorrow, so I might not be able to do my alternate day fast.
tomorrow because I don't want to waste the $16 ribeye um, for not eating it on time. So there's that. So there's not a lot of nice ways to do this. Basically, this rubber mat is badass, by the way. I'm not worried about getting the rubber mat dirty because I can remove it and clean it at a car wash if I want. Now I'm going to dump this shit in here. I'm going to double bag this probably tonight. I'm not doing this in the car because I don't want to get any of this mess in there. But it's getting pretty clean. So that's good. I don't really have to wash that. This, however, needs to be washed. So in order to do that, I've got my little wash tub that I was complaining about before. And, uh, I'm just going to put that up there for now. And basically, I'm going to do the dishes, so to speak. I'm also going to wash my fork. Uh. I'm going to use this water. Do it. Use it sparingly. That's how we do dishes. And of course, I'm going to dry out. This, which will be nice and clean because it's soapy water drying it out with. So that is the pain of the ass that it is dinner. It took me a while to get it all done. Um, of course, all of my cooking shit is in the bottom bin, so I have to move all of that, put it all away. Um, I'm gonna leave this up here to dry out. I would leave it outside, but because I'm on a gravel, near a gravel road in the Badlands, where it's particularly dry and dusty, I don't necessarily want all the fucking dust to kick onto my fucking uh, food, so there's that. I mean, if you look out, that's my window, that's my view right now. This is definitely my favorite uh, no man spot. But it's hot. There's no shade. There's no nothing. It's just you on a cliff and whatever you brought with you. A lot of people bring campers and rigs and I hear generators running way the fuck over there. 
um, which I can't talk shit. My car's running. So I am worried though. Uh, it's down to two bars. I might have to go get gas before I call it a night. Unless it cools down. If it cools down, I'll just shut it off. Um, but we'll see. If it gets down, it's right now it's saying I can go 82 miles. I'm only six miles from where the gas is. But still, what if they run out of gas or something stupid like that? But I may, I'm definitely not going to run it all night, I don't think. I'm pro well, I'm worried about the dust though, because the dust will get in. We'll see. If by the time I go to bed, it's down to 40, 40 miles, I'll probably, I don't know, might have to tough it without running the air conditioner. Problems. I should just go get it fucking filled, but I don't want to lose my spot. I like my spot. I'll probably go get it filled. And shit. But yeah, we're uh, car camping. If you like my shit and you want me to make more shit, please like it, subscribe, ring the bell so maybe Susan will tell you when I do shit. And then also click on the bell, make sure you get all notifications because otherwise they'll pick and choose what you get notified on. Um, as, for, as far as I can tell, anybody I do all of that for, I get notified on YouTube for. But if that's not good enough, you can head to scottthetruckdriver.com and sign up for my free email list. I do send out emails when I got new content, usually in a batch form because you don't want to fucking email anytime I post something, every time I post something. But when I got a couple videos for you to watch, it'll go up. Or if I'm going to premiere so you can chat with me, or if I'm going to go live... Um, I'll send out an email giving you a heads up or I'll give you a heads up of when the next time frame for going live is via that email list. Um, and we'll go from there. Uh, you can also leave a tip in the virtual tip jar if you want to support what I do and you want me to keep doing trips like this and, and sharing the experience across taking you all out of your uh, lockdowns for a little bit and letting you see what it's like to live your life a, a bit. Um, I don't know if that helps anybody. Some some of you have said that you're enjoying, you know, these, you know, escapist videos, I would say, where I'm not constantly dwelling on current events, even though they creep their way into my life. Um, that being said, my phone popped up a notification for, because Google likes to send me news stories now on my phone. And I caught the headline and it said that Dr. Fauci uh, is very concerned about Sturgis and, and certain health conditions. Basically, they're pointing the finger at anybody that does this and saying that we're pieces of shit and that you should be angry at us because we're doing this. We're out here living our lives and being free and enjoying life. And that just is selfish, and, and we are pieces of shit. And that, and sure enough, anybody that's struggling, anybody that gets the fucking coof, anybody that loses somebody is going to point at us like we did it. I'll save that rant for Odyssey. Have a nice motherfucking day. Shit. Wow, you guys are getting tons of videos. wonder if my channel will finally fucking grow now that I'm putting out all this fucking content. Wouldn't that be nice? Susan, come on. Throw me a bone. I'm playing by the rules. I'm being vague. I'm fucking keeping my mouth shut. I'm, I'm not fucking corrupting anyone's mind, I don't think. So could you just fucking turn the algorithm back up for me, back to where it was three years ago when I was growing constantly? It was fucking great. Please, please, motherfucker, please, please. All right, I'm a piece of shit for begging. Yes. Yeah. Never mind, Susan. Fuck you. <laughs>